Hello everyone and welcome to the Spiritual Insight Show. I'm Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman. Apologize for being a little late. It's 11 11. 11 11. I love that. I've been seeing a lot of um, repetitious numbers lately. I'm wondering, have you been as well? You know, repeating like 11 11, you know, 12 12. I mean, that sort of thing, that type of, of repetition. Uh, repetitious numbers, repeating numbers, uh, very, it, it's a very nice message and uh, from from the universe really about your, about our expansion, our growth and expansion in the times that we're in. And it's to me just always really nice validation, like you're, you're on track, you're on path and you're paying attention, that we're paying attention to these symbols and these signs that are given to us. Again, welcome everyone to the Spiritual Insight Show. And uh, whether you're watching this show live or you're watching the replay uh, on, on demand, thank you so much for taking time out of your day or your evening and sitting in sacred circle with each and every one of us that are viewing this as well. So thank you so much. I am very grateful. Today is February 14th, 2017. It is Valentine's Day. Woo! <laughs> so happy Valentine's Day to everyone. All right. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about that a little bit. I just, another reason for me um, starting a little, a little later today is I just finished up a, a webinar. Um, it, uh, for those of you who may know, I am an independent consultant or independent distributor for Nature Sunshine products. And they uh, have wonderful webinars of education. They teach you they, about herbs and supplements, and essential oils, and just, I mean, it is, it's very, to me, it's, it's a great feeling to know that there, there is this this community of love and support that really care about your health, you, you know, uh, mind, body, and soul. So I'll talk more about about that in a few moments. Um, <clears throat> so I always like to start off with giving messages. Um, and uh, again, before let me let me just stop a moment because I realize it has been actually several weeks since I last had a show. And the reason being is I did have a bout of bronchitis. Um, you may hear me <coughs> kind of, I'm still kind of clearing a little bit. Um, and that's, that's new for me. Um, I haven't been sick in years. I'm talking like six, seven years. I mean, it's been a long time since I have been sick, all right? Or what we call sick or ill or oh my gosh. Um, and so, it's very interesting because I find that a lot of people are, are, are getting sick or getting ill and they're going through things that even, and it kind of makes them question, but I think I've been taking care of myself, what's going on? Uh, and especially one too, I find with healers, I'm a healer, I'm not supposed to get sick. Aha, that's not true. And um, so he healers especially, I mean, I know people who, who don't, you know, don't even want to say that they're sick or that they're ill because it may make them look weak. It may make them um, be tarnished as a healer if that's their, um, their work or their, uh, what they're doing. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, see? <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. Ugh. Get it all out here. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, it's good. Let's get the mucus out. Woo! All right. Uh, so I apologize for that, but it's what everyone needs to see and needs to know that everyone gets sick. Yes, we all have healing abilities. Healers do get sick, and um, we just need to honor that and work. Continue to work with our body not getting in our body's way so that it can heal. Our bodies have tremendous healing abilities. And a lot of times we get in our own way. And we're gonna talk more about that in a few moments too, because it all really ties into with the webinar that I watched um, 
uh, that I participated in today. So, and these these webinars are live too. It's not just a recorded webinar; they're live webinars where there's feedback. Um, so I really, really like that. And if you're interested in nature sunshine and um, products, uh, and even just joining, the the training itself is just phenomenal. And you know, okay, so what are the requirements? It's just it's uh, um, if we, you place a forty dollar order, you can become a member of Nature Sunshine. You can sign up, and you just have to place a, an order every month. And it, there isn't a, a a limit on that. There isn't a minimum that you have to buy. All right. Um, it's so, but if you're using one supplement and just reordering it every month, there you go. The information and the teaching and training that you get is invaluable and priceless to me. It really is. So anyway, if you have any questions about that, just contact me. Um, all right, so now, on with it. <laughs> uh, the crystal message for this week is Howlite. H-O-W-L-I-T-E. Howlite. Howlite. It's a beautiful white and it has some black specks in it. It's a beautiful stone. If you're not familiar with that, then please um, Google it and um, you'll be able to see pictures of it. But how like? So this is a stone of surrender and new beginnings. It promotes balanced change and new discoveries. Balanced change and new discoveries. Um, I'm still seeing like posts and people that make these pictures these new agey or spiritual pictures and it's just you know I'm only having positive thoughts only I'm, I'm getting rid of the negative I want you to stop and think about that for a moment I want you to feel this for a moment you're still part of separation if you believe and support that theory uh, negative is part of us we are both negative and positive negative with positive positive with negative all right with not and but with and the reason I'm not saying and is because most people take and as an option automatically they hear and and go oh, is that optional but when you put it all together because it is one negative with positive positive with negative all right it is part of the complete whole. So there shouldn't be any separation. There isn't just, I just want to have positive and that's it. Well, the thing is, is that when you get so high, a grounding really is a negative if you want to be technical about it. You get so high up in the positive that you've become disconnected from the earth. You've been disconnected from grounding, from the earth star. You've just become disconnected now you have these rose colored glasses they call yeah they glows the rose tinted lenses on your glasses where you don't you are blinded by the light really is what's happening you don't see acknowledge or want to even know anything negative you have just gone from one extreme to the next that's all and that's still not good bring it to center bring it to balance we need both. All right, we need both. All right, so the animal totem message for this week is otter. Cute little otters. <laughs> otter. And otter represents women's healing wisdom. Yes, and it's and it's not just the women. It, the healing of this this healing wisdom lies within the feminine side of ourselves. Here we go again. Are you separating? between the masculine and feminine aspects within you. So the women aspect has this healing wisdom. The sensibility without suspicion. What is that called? Hmm. Sensibility without suspicion. That sounds like trust, doesn't it? Trust. Trust and surrender. Ah, that goes hand in hand with the message from the Howlite gemstone. All right. Otter also represents psychic awareness, your intuitive awareness, your gifts and your abilities, uh, the unmasking and awakened hidden talents, 
understanding the value of playtime. Playtime is very important. It really is. And even if to take time off, I know that if I get too driven in work and I'm not taking time off, my guides will make sure that they put me down, so to speak, um, where, where I have a day where, you know, maybe I just am dizzy or I feel exhausted and I just need to rest and take that time. So, um, because we really need to listen to what our body tells us too, even if our body goes, hey, I need, so I need, I need to rest. Um, are you too busy to take care of yourself adequately, um, to hydrate yourself, to nourish yourself, to, you know, that then we really become into um, a stressful time once we start to deplete our energy levels. So it's always important um, to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves and maybe even more so during the winter time um, than any other time. Uh, and, and I know it might be easy, <laughs> you know, oh, I'm cold, what's the weather outside? It's easy just to pamper yourself, <laughs> um, except for those that feel like they have to have a, a doctor's note for work in order to do something like that. Um, anyway, it, it's just still you have to take care of you, 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 you. And the webinar that I had um, attended before um, I recorded the show here is uh, it was Valentine's Day special about the heart taking care of your physical heart and uh, again I, I really liked with taking the and out and that was expressed in this webinar too is that um, as a cardiologist as a doctor who was giving this uh, presentation was saying that it's it's it, people would come in and you would tell them it's you, what you hear you normally and what we program when we go to a doctor is is health um, is is diet and exercise and supplementation and he goes take the and off see take the and off take the ands because people won't you give them so many options that and again represents options and they'll oh, if I do one or two out of three that's good you have to make it whole and balanced and complete. It is our diet with exercise, with supplementation. All of these are needed for our, our bodies to naturally heal. We're helping our bodies to naturally heal when we do that. And I know I say diet and most people cringe, but it really is we have to be aware of what we are consuming, uh, most definitely. And there's a lot of diets out there. You just have to, what's right with you? You have to be comfortable with it. You have to enjoy it. If you are miserable with a diet and, you, and, and you're forcing it, you're forcing it on your body, and, and it's going to cause really even more stress. Anything that is forced causes a stress and it's not and this is why I say well oh, I struggle with it because it shouldn't be a struggle it should be something that you enjoy it should even if you don't like to um, cook or I should say prepare meals for yourself um, it's something that you're going to have to ease into taking care of what you are consuming don't don't consume so much processed ready-made food you know all of this how much nutrients and vitamins you think they have well, we all know this now there's not very much at all there there isn't any live energy and dead food like that all right and so um, you have to do what's right for you and so it, it's finding and tweaking and, and that's good but it is definitely diet with exercise, you should have some movement, and even if it's just 20 minutes a day, stretching. I know let's it's okay. Let's let's do some aerobics. That might be too much. Even just stretching, just getting that heart going, that heart, you know, uh, that heartbeat going. And in the webinar, and I'm going to try to remember these numbers here, the, the, the statistics, because I, um, 
didn't write them down yet and because they usually have notes that you can download it but they were weren't put up yet so I will get those later but um, they he talked about if you just walk for 10 minutes that's good uh, all right there's really going to be no change in your cardiovascular health if you walk over 10 minutes you know 10 to 15 it isn't that five minutes really if you walk over 10 minutes let's say 10 to 20 now you've increased 18 percent your heart health and if you walk over 20 minutes once you get to 21 minutes and, and, and above it's even like 30 percent increase of taking care of your heart health um, so that's that's astounding so just exercising for 20 to 30 minutes a day really helps you to increase taking care of that. So diet, maybe some heart healthy foods, right? For the body, diet's for the body, all right? Um, and, and, and so is the exercise, but exercise helps us, I feel too, on an emotional because it's a release. We're releasing stress from our body. We're releasing really even toxins too. When we sweat, when we are, are um, just releasing, pushing the energy off through our body, allowing that energy to flow, and it's, um, it's very beautiful. And then supplementation. We do need supplementation because food alone is not helping us with our essential vitamins and minerals. All right, and that's just vitamins, it's minerals as well. And supplementation with herbs. There used to be a time where our grandmothers and great grandmothers, uh, you know, our, our food was very flavorful because of the herbs that were put into the meals as well. Instead of, you know, taking a supplement, which if you just take a capsule, um, well, I, I don't know with any other products, and I know with Nature Sunshine products, though, the herbal supplements, you can just pull the cap capsules apart and put them um, in a shake, put them, in, you know, you can consume them that way, too. Uh, because some people even feel like a vitamin or, or supplementation is pill popping. And, you, you know, no, we're not talking about just that. We're talking about supplementing what is missing. So I like that it's a diet with exercise with supplementation and making sure that you are drinking plenty of water staying hydrated that that's not a myth um, the hydration thing we we really do need I know I feel it as someone who consumes a lot of water and then when I stop I really feel it how do I feel that I'll tell you after I take a sip of water. <laughs> mm. Well, for me first, I start to feel the dry throat. You really start to feel like I could use something to drink. Um, if you don't listen and respond to that and push through for whatever you're doing, for whatever reason, then you can start to get a headache. Um, and that's with me. I, I think with, with other, with, you know, pay attention to your body. Pay attention to the signals going off. That is your body saying, hey, um, we need some water here. We need to stay hydrated. If you <clears throat> um, don't stay hydrated, the very first place your body pulls water and hydration from is the sinuses. Wow, how many of us have sinus issues? So it pulls from the sinus ducts to hydrate the rest of our uh, organs and muscles. All right, so let's stay hydrated. Let's keep our sinuses nice and moist so that um, they can work pro and function properly. All right, um, so it's um, really, really good stuff. I'm not just preaching this. I came from, um, uh, um, where I had my own bout of ooh, severe migraines uh, and I mean I was on an epileptic medication uh, that's just how bad my, my migraines were 
and it used to be once a week then they had increased to like every other day I mean we're talking about I have to go lay down I'm down and out in a dark room you know and if I could because it made you, made you vomit too I mean it was just terrible 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 um, I'd get that white out in the eye where you couldn't see for a little bit and then the pain and just it was I have ever experienced anything like that before I also was not taking care of myself the way that I sh that I should have been and it wasn't until I started drinking more water really started hydrating myself a lot um, I was drinking a lot of soda and was very stressed uh, and it was and, and this was a time as as a mother and then when my sons were were toddlers babe babies and toddlers and I didn't realize that was just a stressful time for me um, my mother had crossed over when I was pregnant with my oldest child so I didn't have that support my husband was in the military so he was gone a lot there was a lot that this is what I'm saying stress can really knock you down and um, the whole on uh, just the whole psychological and and then how that really it's all connected mind with the body with the soul and if any one of these things is out of balance it's a domino effect so we have to make sure that we are taking care of each of these things each of these aspects the mind with the body with the soul and so as soon as I and, and most people start with the body but it can be hard you've got to immediately follow up with taking care of that emotional support within and even love yourself and this is very huge very huge many of us think that well I love myself or not to sound conceited or anything like that but if we don't love ourselves, we're gonna have a whole <clears throat> lot of problems I kept looking for love I kept looking for the um, gratification or way to go um, from my husband I put a lot of pressure on on him of okay you are my source of happiness you are my source of balance you are the power that's not within me but outside of me and that's wrong. don't ever do that don't ever give someone that much power or someone or so, you just you know um, any other people it could be a group of people not just one person but for me because you know my mother had crossed over and then um, I was trying to be supportive for my dad and then you know years later I mean he crossed over too and so it was just like oh my gosh very quickly I didn't have a support team of a mother or grandmother aunts uncle you know any of that because my mother was an only child I didn't have any of that um in that part of my life and at that particular time so I did feel like I was all alone so of course you're, we're going to put that pressure on our spouse then right or on our partner and as soon as I realized and I had to come to the point of surrender I'm tired of being sick all the time what am I doing wrong what and when you're ready to do that self-analysis when you're ready to really listen to your guides and angels and that inner dialogue and surrender to that and be open to okay I can admit that I have done this wrong or maybe I have put blinders up and but I really need to change I wanted to change I didn't want my son's memory of me as being a a sick mom and uh, and I did a lot I homeschooled him I, I you know so it was um, I needed to be healthy and I needed to teach them to be healthy and it was important to me because I watched my mother um, battle cancer three times three separate times in my youth and I watched her activate it oh when I was like three or four years old I watched her activated within her body um, and because I could see energy 
and I actually had to ask to let me just see that new energy now only in a healing session because it is kind of nerve-wracking to see all the time uh, so it took me a while to okay I don't want to see this all the time uh, but yeah you I could see it I could see like this darkness outside her aura then it enters the aura and then it enters the body and I knew it wasn't an entity I knew it was her it was part of her it was the stress it was the upsetness you know that she was it was everything that she was going through and it, um, uh, it was just eye-opening as a child but did that exclude me make me exempt from having my own issues no not at all um, it was a learning curve watching my mother then I'm go I went through my own things and and then also to to fight fight the doctors with the fear or just push them back I should say because my mother had uh, breast cancer first and then um, it came back in different locations the, the second and third time but then it was the doctors are just oh my gosh every year you need a mammogram and I, and I was like, who's fee is that fear based? I'm not gonna buy into that. And um, I did have to put my foot down after several biopsies, uh, just because I have fibrous breasts. And um, I did. And then I realized what helps the fibrous. Yes, you're just gonna have some, but there it can be. Um, uh, I don't want to say controlled, but it can be uh, handled with, you can take care of it with <gasps> diet. Because there's certain things, if you have too much caffeine, you eat too much chocolate, you get the breast pain. And it's like, oh, okay, there there it is. Uh, for those that, that have the fibrous uh, breasts, that's just, just to let you know, that's what it feels like. Um, so you can start to, your body will tell you, hey, <laughs> okay, enough of this caffeine, enough of this chocolate, and enough of things that are not really helping me. I need this. I'm depleted of this particular vitamin and mineral. All right, so it's listening to our bodies. And I had to do that too. I had to listen to my body. I had to get to that point and go, yes, this is what I want to do. And to love myself. I am so secure with who I am now that it is so peaceful. It really is. I do not look for acceptance and, and or that at a girl. I don't look for any of that from anyone else anymore. And it's uh, it doesn't mean that I love my husband any less or, or any any supportive friends. No, it just means that. I can be a better wife. I can be a better friend. I can be a better mother when I love myself and show you that. Um, what that looks like, what that, you, you know, and then maybe hopefully you can feel that for yourself. But it really does help to um, not just helps you with it, but it helps outside of you. And and, and when people see you at such a peace, when they maybe remember you so high, strong, and uptight, and then now you're at such a peace, they're like, wow, I want to I wanna achieve that too. And that's that tapping into. That's that expanding, awakening, your, your awareness. Um, that's where that healing wisdom lies. We can hear that healing wisdom come to us when we're calm and we're not so ah, all over the place uh, pulled in all directions um, so it's very important this is why I say meditation is important and it's just even just taking that time and let walk be meditative hey guess what you're doing you are exercising and meditating at the same time you're having a walking meditation you know um, it's very helpful for you so, I hope this Valentine's Day that you are pampering yourself, loving yourself. If you get a box of chocolates, it's okay. Don't eat them all at one time. 
just <laughs> you can enjoy them just make sure too that, that what you're eating is healthy and this even goes for those that like to go out to eat all the time you want to be very careful you aren't in the kitchen you aren't seeing how food, your foods being prepared you just want to be very careful that way too uh, even though it's not fast food you're going to a sit down restaurant you can still consume things that might not be for your body's highest and greatest the only way you know what you're getting is if you are preparing you, you know um, preparing your meal and even some people may say well I still don't even really know if I'm going to the store and you know is this fruit really fresh is this vegetables really fresh is this meat you know organic and grass-fed you know that type of thing um, and we just that's as long as we are buying fresh items and we can bless our food with gratitude I'm grateful for this food and then you're putting this food that has been energized with gratitude and healing and you're consuming it and it helps it helps your body all right so it really really does all right so uh, I hope you have enjoyed the show um, I'm not going to be able to do full one hour shows um, at this particular time slot because I, there is a radio show that um, is going to come on here in about 15 minutes that I have to go run and so um, I d besides my own business I've got a locks temple of healing which is what I'm talking about this whole healing mind with the body with the soul my personal website is uh, www.whitesagewoman.com I'm saying sage, S-A-G-E whitesagewoman.com and you can also uh, go to Goldilocks Productions which is a subsidiary of Goldilocks Temple of Healing Goldilocks Productions um, website is Goldilocks with a Y Goldilocks Productions CT for Connecticut dot com and there you can find all the radio and TV shows that that we have so it there's a lot of wonderful very talented very awakened and still awakening cuz it's you're never done um, of hosts that we have and uh, so I encourage you to try to check out their shows uh, if you can't live catch them in the archive catch the archive shows and we have the archive shows not only blog talk radio but we also have in Spreaker um, so if you go to Spreaker.com look up Goldilocks Productions remember Goldilocks with a Y you will see our channel there and see all of the archive shows put there as well so again if you have any questions about anything you would like to notify me um, I encourage you to do so. Please just do that through the website whitesagewoman.com and any any suggestions of show topics maybe you would like for me to talk about and, and just I hope you have a very now we're going to talk about the heart centered right in the center of your chest a very heartful day um, with your physical heart your heart chakra that energy center there just take that time to love yourself feel the love from the cosmic heart way above in the upper vibrations that beautiful balanced divine energy just wash over you today wash over you wash through you and know that you are loved, you are secure, and that how you feel on the inside will now be mirrored and reflected outside of you. May the obstacles to your flight be few, and the blessings along your journey be many. Until next week, namaste.